Hi, welcome to Logbox course. Uh, so in this lecture, we will post the Logbox file which we have created in our earlier lectures. The transaction code to post the Logbox file is FLB2. Log into SAP. Go to transaction code FLB2. I've created a variant. Let's select that. So because you have to select import into bank data storage, in case you are uploading the file from the desktop or your laptop, select PC upload. In case it is from a network, uh, network drive, this is not required. The procedure is lockbox. As we have discussed, SAP currently supplies only, comes with only lockbox procedure, only one procedure lockbox. A record format that is a file structure is the BAI2. So give the BAI2. Invoice number. So here do an F4 and we have an options like how the record can be cleared. Uh, basically how the payments received from customer will be cleared against the customer invoices. So if we select one, it will be matched based on the document number, which is the SAP document number. If we select option two, it will be matched on the reference document number, which is the uh, customer invoice number. Uh, if you select option three, it will first try to match based on SAP document number. If that is not found, it will try to match the documents based on customer invoice number. So we have selected option three. Assign value date and print statistics. Let us select our file. Logbox test file, run the program. taking some time. At the bottom of the screen you can see the message. Uh, the file has been successfully posted. So we see it has posted two documents. Uh, this one, one followed by zeros and four in the last, the GL document. And the next is a subledger document. And the status is applied. That is this uh, $15,000 has been fully applied against the customer invoice. Program was able to find the customer invoice against which the payment was made. And it uh, applied the uh, cleared the customer invoice against this payment. Let's look at these documents. So here we see the main bank account. Uh, the Citibank lockbox account has been debited with the cash amount of 15,000 US dollar and the intermediate clearing account 113109 has been credited. Uh, this is what we have configured in our during our lockbox configuration. Let's look at the other document.
This document debits the intermediate bank clearing account, which is 113109, and credits the customer with 15,000. So it was able to fully apply 15,000 against the customer invoice. So the file is successfully posted in the SAP. Uh, coming to the tables, which are SAP tables, which are involved in logbox, there are these four main tables are there. FEPCO is for the logbox header records and FEBEP for the logbox line item record. If you want details about the payment advice, which is created by the program, we can go to table AVIK and AVIP. Uh, let's look at table FEPCO. SE16 and So sending bank statement ID or recipient key That's application here is lockbox. Let's look at the sending bank was yeah So we see the sending bank is basically the account number and the routing number. And then we have the statement ID, uh, which is again account number, routing number, and uh, uh, statement ID is the logbox number followed by date. So we have the entry here, application 03, and let's, so this was posted today, all three files were posted today. And we can look at the line items which have been posted by picking the sort key, which is 162, and go to the line item table, which is C16 and Feb. FEBP, FEBP, sort key was this. Yes. And here we have the details, sort key, and you have the document number one followed by zeros and four. This is what we have seen has been posted, amount 15,000 value date, today's date. And the sub ledger document number 95 followed by zeros and three in the last. So we can verify the postings done uh, in the table, which looks correct. Uh, so with this, we have completed our discussion on SP logbox. Uh, uh, functionality covering the business process, the configuration, file structure, master data update, and finally testing.